What's up, guys? It's Connor here, bringing you a pretty, probably my best gameplay so far, guys. I mean, 88 and 6 and 6v6 domination with a double Moab using the Try Hard Panis class. Excuse me, excuse me, but I love the class. It's fun to use, and I will probably continue using it for the remainder of MW3. As long as people keep killing me with Type 95s, MK14s, and FMGs, I will keep using the MP7. But anyways, guys, that's not what I want to talk about today. Um, I know you guys are expecting the how to Moab, but as I said, I was way too busy to get that out this week. And someone left a comment on my um, my last creation versus evolution thing, and he said, there is no God because, this is what I want to talk about, he said, there is no God because if there is, why is there all these disasters happening in the world? Why is there all these um, homeless people and all these starving people and wars and the world just basically, I mean, falling apart. Why is everyone not all loving each other if there was a God? And now I've got plenty of reasons why, so I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start naming them out right now. And now, what it is is, what all this, all the bad stuff that happens is, it's because God is punishing us for our sins. It said that God punishes those who love him. In, um, it says it numerous times. It says it in Proverbs, I know for a fact. God punishes those who love him like a father punishes his son with whom he is delighted. They, um, God looks at us as like his little children. And when your parents, your parents were, I remember, you know, right back when they had those paddles. Maybe they still beat you. I don't know. <laughs> Not beat you. They still spank you. But when they had those paddles and they're just like, this hurts me more and it hurts you. And you're like, no, it doesn't. But that's what it is, really. He is punishing us because of our sins. Because in Romans 3.23, it says, The um, wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. So really, every time you sin, you should be dying. And that's what actually happened. There's this guy named Acre back when... Um, Israel was overtaking Jerusalem when they walked around the wall seven times, blew their trumpets, wall fell down. Well, God told them to that they were supposed to go destroy um, everything inside except for the gold and the silver they could bring to their treasury, all the jewels and stuff. They could bring that to their treasury and for God and keep it to for offerings or to build up the church and all that stuff. But this guy named Acre ended up taking... Um, he took three, like, some pieces of gold and silver and a robe and hid it under his tent. And now, I mean, the David was the leader of the Israelites all this time. And they're all like, yeah, yeah, we're, we can beat anybody. God's on our side. And so what they did was they ended up sending some people down to try to take over another um, country. And they just got destroyed. I mean, Israel just got destroyed by the other country. And, oh, no, it wasn't David. It was Joshua. And Joshua was like, God, why are you... um?" Why, why have you let us lose? Why did you let us down and let us get killed here? And God says, someone in there has sinned. And this guy, Acre, they found the stuff under his tent, and they stoned him to death. They then burned him after they stoned him, and then they re-stoned him. So, I mean, he just did that one sin, and he died. And that's because for the wages of sin is death. And this was before Jesus died on the cross for your sins. And Romans 3.23 is after he died. So after he died, the wages of sin is death, but... The gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. And so now he's, God's given you the chance for eternal life. And I'll get into that a little later. But here's what. But another thing I want to talk about was David. Um, David ended up sinning. David was a great guy. I mean, he was a great guy. Led the Israelites. Defeated people. He killed Goliath. You know, everyone knows the story of David and Goliath. Great, great army. He had an army of 300 men that went out and destroyed an entire city. That's how much God was on his side. God found, God found favor in David. But David sinned against God. And God ended up killing 70 thousand Israelites because of David's sin 70,000 that was the punishment and um but then he actually ends up showing mercy on him because he was going to wipe out all of Jerusalem which is where they were staying at but he shows mercy because David repented and he showed mercy on him and didn't do that so now guys God shows mercy every single day you're our aunt you have not died because God is showing your mercy God is showing you mercy because he wants to give you the chance to be able to come to him to come and live in heaven with him forever so he is being merciful all the time and now here I've got a verse or uh, Nehemiah 9 talks about God's mercy great and I love it very much it says I <laughs> love it very much. That's weird. All right. He says, 
Um, you performed, God performed signs and wonders against Pharaoh and all his servants and all the people of the land, for they knew that they acted arrogantly against our fathers. So God saved the, because all these Israelites were in Egypt and they were being, the Pharaoh was making them work nonstop, hard work all day, all day. And God ended up taking them out of Egypt. He then, um, divided the sea before them. So he, now they run up and there's a sea there and they're like, oh crap. And the Pharaoh and the Egyptians are falling ready to kill him. God opens the Red Sea, they cross on dry land, Red Sea closes, kills Pharaoh and all those people. He led them from by a pillar of cloud during the day and a pillar of fire at night so that he could show them the way, the, the way to go. He came down on my, Mount Sinai and he spoke with them from heaven and gave them the laws. And that's where he got the Ten Commandments. And he gave them bread from heaven for their hunger. What he did was, Israel was like, God, you've brought us out here just to starve. And now they're complaining. And God doesn't like complaining. He's like, you've brought us out here to starve. Why would you take us out of Egypt? And God's like, you really don't think I can take care of you? He goes, boom. And now every morning when they woke up, there was manna, which is a type of bread, just all over the floor. There was plenty of manna for them to eat. All right, And he brought water for them out of a rock. Now what happened was they were, another time, they're complaining again. I mean, seriously, guys, they're still complaining. And he's just like, God's like, um, you know what? Go strike that rock. So Moses strikes the rock, and the water comes out. And he's like, look, I can provide for you all the time. Now, here's what I was talking about earlier. So, I mean, here's... Now, now let me re reframe back to what I was talking about. Israel was sinning all the time. They were complaining, and they built false idols against God, too. Even though God had just taken them out of Egypt, given them bread, given them water, parted the Red Sea, and was leading them to the Promised Land, which is where they were going. And they built false gods, and God would strike them down. God would strike down the Israelites, kill them, send famine on them. They would then repent. God would have mercy on them. God had mercy on them numerous times, guys, just like he has mercy on us every single day right now. Um, It says in Psalms 103.10, God does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities, which is true because God says the wages of sin is death. So if you sin... You should die. But God does not treat us how our sins deserve. He shows mercy to us every day by not killing us. Most of us don't have, like, AIDS. We're not homeless. I mean, you've got a computer right now. And all this stuff, do you deserve Do you deserve God's grace? Because you sin against Him every single day. And this is the wages of sin is death. You still die, but you don't die instantly. And this is why you don't die instantly. You don't get stoned right away when you sin because of this. In Romans 2, 4, it says, Can't you see that he's been waiting all this time without punishing you to give you time to turn from your sin? His kindness is meant to lead you to repentance. So now God is not hes not um, hurt, uh, killing you for your iniquities right now because he is giving you time to lead you to repentance. He is giving you 80 years for most of us. I mean, the average 75 years to stop from your sin and come back to him before you die because everyone has to die now if you ever hear anybody say they never died this is how you know because there's only one person that never died and that was jesus christ and you guys are like wait a second he died on the cross um yeah there's another example right there god came down god punishes those he loved he sent himself in his son in human form called him his son jesus was god's son and he, he killed him on the cross but now he didn't kill him, kill him, because his soul did not go up into heaven. He stayed in that tomb for three days, three nights. I mean, that's the ultimate show of how God punishes those he loves. Because I'm pretty sure, guys, uh, your dad's not going to go nail you to a cross right now. But God punishes those he loves because he loves them. And now Jesus was dying for all of our sins, which now makes it so we can go to heaven. And that we can, we don't die right away because he's giving you time to repent. And so Jesus did not die because he rose from the dead three days later and then he was taken up to heaven by doves. So he never died and was buried in the ground or cremated or anything like that like we would be um, cremated now. He, w he rose up to heaven. And now in Ephesians 2.4 it says God is rich in mercy. In Psalms 111.4 the Lord is full of pity and mercy. And then later in Psalms it also says his mercy endures forever. God, God is showing you mercy every single day, and I mean, I don't know, guys. He's There's literally just out there, this is why he is punishing us, because he's not punishing us because he hates us, because here's where it says, Proverbs 3.12, the Lord disciplines those he loves as a father, the son he delights in. 
So God is not, God is punishing us because he loves us. Because he is, this is, instead of getting like a spanking or a grounding or something, he is like, he, um, he's causing war, he's causing death, starvation, hunger, because of the sin of the people. That all started back when Adam and Eve sinned in the very beginning. If Adam and Eve didn't sin, the world would be perfect. But now we have to work to get to heaven. We have to actually try not to sin. We have to ask for forgiveness. And we and God is giving us plenty of time. He is showing us mercy by not killing us instantly. He is giving us plenty of time to come to Him, to um, repent of our sins, and to become, um, to go up to heaven with Him and live forever. So if you, so I mean, you can't. This is the reason why. This is somebody's comment had said this, and. The world is getting closer to an end. According every single day, we're getting closer. And in Revelations, there's going to be um just there's going to be natural disasters like no other happening. And it says craziness is going to happen. And those that are um those that did that actually uh listened to God's kindness and gave him took his warning right here that he says I'm giving you I'm showing you kindness so you can come to me. Those that actually do that. You will be able to live forever and you won't deal with all this stuff. But right now, you the world is coming to an end and God is just punishing and it will get worse and worse and worse and worse until the world just ends. And it will all come like that. And so what God is doing, he is punishing us for our sins and he is also showing us mercy at the same time by not killing us, giving us food we need um, for us. And I mean, just uh, he's showing us mercy every day. We don't have AIDS for the most part. I mean, just look around you. Everywhere you see, you've got God's mercy. You're in a house got um i don't know you got your tv your xbox to play god's just showing you mercy every day and uh, i don't know i hope that i hope that kind of um changes your thinking on that whoever left that comment i'm not really sure hopefully you watch this maybe it changes your thinking i hope you guys enjoyed the video too i'll see you guys later adios